Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, this is Element 3D Class 8 where I'll talk about this amazing render technique inside of After Effects by using Element 3D. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, uh, right now we are in After Effects version 2020 and as you can see, this is already rendered in 4K. So to create this, I have to take a new composition. So from here, just press this and you have to select your own preset. I'm selecting like 1920 by 1080p and let's name it like Element 3D, which is always preferable and the background color is black and then just press OK. So guys, before going forward, I just want to tell you that if you still not watched our last all seven episodes, you have to check them all. Those episodes are just stunning. Link are all in description box below. OK, so the composition is right now created. Then I have to create a new solid layer to so right click new and then solid okay to create those zigzag patterns something like this these are actually created by an image so how you can create that i will show you to create that you need to know one software it's a very easy software no need to install it's called js displacement so guys this is js displacement and this is very older version already new version is released you can download it's completely free and no need to install just click it will open it's just an open source software so here is like one two three four and five presets are there whatever you have to choose just click any of this and then you press the hotkey or just click here so it will generate something like this kind of patterns now you have to uh, go through with few other settings like if you don't want to select this lines like in my case i don't want these lines and some Thing like these lines as well then again you have to click in between now you will achieve this kind of zigzag patterns and there are a lot of others designs like if you go any others modes something like that if you notice when you click here it will take some time to update now see these are the more detailed more uh, like uh, high detailed areas are there if you want to save this just click here and it will save there are a lot of options over there if you want to download this software link is in description box below so now we have to close this and I already have one JPEG so I'm just importing that JPEG and this is the JPEG so let's double click and open it okay so this is my basic image where I'll create those amazing uh, smart effect so just click drag and drop to this composition so no need to scale it down what do you have to do just go to this layer panel over there you can see auto trace option is there so just click this auto trace over there you can see some options will come like luminance and all so just leave it in luminance and blur value should be zero and wait for a few times so that this uh, mask layers will become and automatically whatever will come the output will give you more precise like you, you, you will happy with your output and then should be turned on this apply to a new layer and then just press ok so the mask is right now happened and from here let's decrease the resolution from full to quarter so that it will not getting crash and let's make it like fit to screen and now what we have we have this masked out see this is amazing masked area and now what I have to do we just have to disable this all now click this black solid go to this effects controls and right click and over there you can see video copilot element and now go to this custom layers from here you can see the custom text and mask click here and from path one you have to select this auto traced option no need to select this PNG just auto trace this one just click one and turn this off and open your scene setup so to create this first of all we have to create a cube to make it more realistic now this is a cube and let's decrease the chamfer value from zero okay and uh, after that we have to click this extrude button now this model is there and if you want you can go down and there are so many options like normalize size if you click this it will be normalized something like that and after that there are a lot of high poly if you notice the vertices are very high so what I'll do I'll just click this optimize mesh so that it will decrease a little bit and it, it can be like easy easy way to handle your all settings so now this is very very thin we have to make it a little more thicker so just click this and you have to make it a little thin something like that this is fine good enough and after that we have to make this align to this box so go to this front view and after that scale it down something like now this is uh, all colors are same so what i'll do i'll take a color and apply a material on this so that you can understand like what happened is there and now go to the top view and just make this one to this area okay and now go to the front view and now you can scale it down to the box area 
and something something like that it's fine and when you go to perspective you can see it will look like this now what i have to do we have to cover this same thing to all these box areas okay so i'm doing the entire thing in very fast forward mode so that you will not get being bored so if you notice all the pieces are right now exactly on their own space and if you notice that i didn't add anything in like bottom because we are not showing this bottom area now to create the floor the very easy way to create this you have to click this extrude button again but before doing extrude you have to group them all so just select all of this and just click drag and drop here and rename it something like cube so that it will easy to handle now press ok the textures I will apply a little bit later now this box model is also should go inside ok now it's fine after that we have to click this extrude again now when, it, when it's here you just have to no need to uh, like normalize it you just have to make this optimize mesh so that obviously it will decrease their vertices and after that you have to rotate this a little bit something like that now it's in flow and make sure it should be a little bit scaled down so that these gaps will be now very bigger so i'm just scale it down to this much area now this much area is very good enough and after that i just have to increase this depth value something like that and make sure it should go down but before going down i just have to create a base floor for this so nothing will go through with all of this so just click and make it bigger something to this shape area yeah this is fine and make sure it should go a little down to create the entire flow yeah now it's fine okay so when you're happy of all your positions and all it will look like something like that now you have to create some textures so texture policy is very very easy so to create a texture i'm just creating this extrude model first texture so i'm here selecting this my icon urban dk and from here i'm going to this middle option and there is a one texture is very very good texture to create this amazing render so i'm just taking this uh, title still to to create this one and now this is very stretched out so from here i'm just making it take around 10 by 10 this is fine now it looks something like that and after that i'm taking the plane model same thing title still 2 and also it should be around 10 by 10 now it's good now if you notice both are looking exactly on same space now this is really like glossy rusty kind of thing so it's look just amazing and the same texture we can apply here but in my case i'm t applying a little bit different so click this box one i'm applying the title still one to create this and for this one also title still one so now all the textures are applied successfully now to create some cool reflections now to create this box cube like group and go to this environment and from here you just have to click the spherical so that everything will come based on this area it can be reflect on this area now if you notice if you click this offset value you can see some reflections are getting changed here so it's a very good way to create some cool reflection to create a spherical mode and now we'll go to this extrude model and if you go to here same thing if you click this spherical option the reflections are coming something something like that if you change your offset value this will create some good response good result now to create a good environment click this environment button and i'm taking a simple video copilot normal uh, provided material which is basic 2k and i'm selecting like basic 2k05 which is a which is a very good example now i'm changing the light position by pressing shift and like uh, right click and it's coming something like that okay so after all i have to click this okay button now the illumination i'll come back later just to apply all the settings and all then i'll get back here just press okay here so when you click the quarter you can see your renders here and right click new take a new camera and from here take it like 35 mm and just press something like that and now you have to make our own camera positions and now you have to create some lightings and all so create a lighting just right click new take a new light i'm taking a parallel light and let's take it color around something white for this case and press ok and then just press ok now if you can see this light is here and uh, to press p here and change the light positions but now there is no shadow ambient occlusion and all to click this render settings i have to go to this ambient occlusion click this enable ao but in this case i am increasing this one to uh, let's take around 10 so 10 is good enough to create now this see if you have good enough of shadow samples are here now just turn this off go to the shadow panel turn this shadow panel on now the light setups are looking very good now you have to work with our environment so make it quarter again go to this camera now we have to go to this physical environment now in this case i am increasing the gamma a little bit from here 
and uh, something like that and after that i'm just rotating the environment to make sure it will match here properly okay so after all we have to go to this light option and from here i'm taking something like basic lighting which is this one now after all when you're happy with all this i'm just make the tint color from white to a little bit blue so that it can be look like a little more dramatic so now the environment color is something something like bluish kind of thing and the parallel light color is from 615 intensity i'm taking like 100 it's good enough now this is looking just amazing and after that you have to give some cool eliminations options and all so now click here go to this title still option 2 and what you have to do just have to go with this option and from illumination click here and I'm, I'm taking the texture which i want to give here and the texture is there and if you apply this from here okay go to the illumination tab and when you increase the intensity you can exactly see it but it's very high colored so what you can do you just have to go here go to the illumination tab you just have to click Click and decrease the light color. So now what happened that a few lights are visible, few lights are not. So it will something create like this and press OK. Go to elimination tab again. Now click the intensity little up and you can use this frenzel bias and you can adjust it by your own way. Now go to this again, this cubes option as well. I'm also doing the same thing for here. So as you can see, the all areas are applied with this cool lighting setup and all. Now after that, you have to press OK and it will come here something like that when you go to the full rays you can exactly see the final output now it's it's looking very very good now if you notice there are some black areas are visible relax it will go I'll, after that we have to go to this again quarter value and from here go down go here and after that what you have to do just have to create a cool camera depth now guys if you notice the depth of field is completely applied successfully now to remove this black area is very easy to create just click here go to this physical environment and turn this show bg on so what happens and the BG will be visible here and it can be cheat your audience to something like that. Now there is less light I know so to create a bigger light what you have to do just have to increase something this parallel light little bit so click like like 200 is good enough. Now the effect will create a little more depth in this. Now click this black solid and go down and right click go to this uh, color correction and I'm taking a curves and now increasing a little bit click something like this okay now this is fine now to give some cool glow just we have to do duplicate this one and make it to the top and after that just this delete this curve and from here output composite to illumination now whatever we'll see you can see only the illumination part here which is this one now i'm adding a glow here something like glow glow and just click drag and drop now the glow is here and if you decrease the glow thresholds and increase the glow radius and increasing the intensity now just from here normal to lighten or anything like screen in my case i'm preferring screen now to click this green color of thing just have to right click video copilot and i have this vc color vibrance and from here you can exactly change your colors to like green or anything what you want to do so everything you have to do this in a very clear way i am doing it in again every time you can do your own composition will look a different kind of thing the outputs are almost same so the process is same so i hope you really enjoyed this amazing sweet simple and exciting science frictional render from element 3d class 8 and if you really love my these videos then don't forget to like comments and share and also you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter and guys one more good thing my all losing subscribers are back so thank you youtube team for giving me so much love and support and i hope in future i can give you so many good outputs so many good tutorials so till then have fun stay healthy and i will see you in my next video bye bye